Hi everyone, this is Dave Bryson back with a new episode of our Spatial How-To series. This time we're talking about spatial processing tools in Alteryx. In the series so far, we've focused a lot on creating spatial data through geocoding addresses, enriching data with demographics, or by creating trade areas around your business locations. But now what? What's the analytical value of creating spatial data? Well, some would say it's about putting data on a digital map like you would do in Tableau or Power BI, but I have a secret for you. Those maps are a dime a dozen, meaning those are easy to create. And frankly, you probably don't need to watch a video on how to create those. This video is about spatial data processing. Spatial data processing is an analysis that you can only do with spatial data. We're going to look at two separate spatial processing tools in this video and walk through how to use them and interpret the sometimes tricky language used to describe the processes in those tools. Okay, we're gonna jump right into Designer. Here are two tools that we're gonna look at today, spatial match and spatial process. The best way to think about these tools is to think of them as filter tools, in, like the filter tool in Alteryx, except instead of filtering values in a column or row, we're actually filtering geographically. So let's look at spatial match. You'll see here these terms, target and universe. These are kind of confusing if you've never used this tool before. I like to think of spatial map in my head like a sheet of cookie dough and a cookie cutter. Think of the universe as the sheet of cookie dough. It's the thing or locations that you want to cut or in this case filter from. Then the target is the cookie cutter. It's the area you want to fill with the dough. That's why it's required that at least one input for the spatial match tool is a polygon. Here in our help documentation, you'll find these nice illustrations of what each spatial match method does. Notice that the target is always first in the definition of the relationship. The target, or the cookie cutter, is interacting with the universe in some way, like touching the sides or being completely within. Imagine these pictures as cookie dough and cutter. Keep that cookie cutter analogy in your head when we look at these, and you'll really start to make more sense. All right, back to designer. Okay, now we know the basics. Let's see what this tool is doing. Notice it looks like the filter tool, except with multiple inputs and similar dual outputs. Whenever you work with spatial data in Alteryx, browse tools are your friend because they help you to see what you're doing. With spatial match, it's critical. Add them to all steps in the process. It'll help you understand your inputs and results a lot better. Now notice what we're feeding into this tool as our target and universe. In this case, we're using the trade area polygon as our target or the cookie cutter. Then we have the dough, which here is all bike stores in the state of Colorado. To filter out the bike stores that are located within that trade area, we define the spatial match calculation as the target containing the universe. Or think of it like it's all the dough contained within the cookie cutter. What's returned in the matched anchor are the stores inside that area. Pretty cool, right? Now we can do the opposite by switching the inputs. Here we can say we want the locations to be the dough and the trade area to be the cookie cutter. It's like taking the cookie you cut out of the dough and you throw it away. And what you want left over is just the dough with a hole in it. So imagine this giant piece of dough and you drop it onto the cookie cutter and throw away the cookie you cut. That's what's happening here. It will filter out all the locations inside the trade area and give you the remaining competitors. This would show you all competitors outside of your trade area. Okay, let's talk about spatial process. This one is really fun. And the one tool example here is fantastic at showing you what's happening. Spatial process works like that cookie cutter example as well, except with this tool, it's using two polygons. This analysis is critical if you're trying to understand things like cannibalization of existing or competitive locations. It's also a great way to help you define an area as well by combining those polygons together. Again, using the browse tools, we can see what different spatial processing calculations do. Starting with these two polygons, we can combine the objects, 
This option creates one large polygon that is made up of the entire area covered by those two polygons. Then we have cut first from second, which removes the overlapping area from the first polygon and returns what's left. Cut second from first removes the overlapping area from the second polygon and returns what's left over. The create intersection object option returns only the portion of both polygons that overlap. And finally, the create inverse intersection object option removes the area of overlap from both polygons and returns what is left without it as a single polygon. So this tool has a lot of illustrations to help guide you through using it. All right, well, I don't know about you all, but I want some cookies. <laughs> We've seen in this video how you can take spatial data that you've created and begin to process it with the spatial processing tools in Alteryx. Keep that cookie cutter analogy in mind as you leverage these tools and always remember when working with spatial data in Alteryx, browse tools are your friend. Well, that's it. Thanks everyone. We'll see you next time for another episode of Spatial How-To in Alteryx.